Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets. So it has been a while here in the Pet Sims 3 world since I uploaded. That's because I've decided that I want to focus on the story a little bit more. So we've kind of been focusing on the animals and things like that. Uh, can you answer your phone? Yeah, we've been focusing on the animal side of this Let's Play loads, which I mean is going to happen because this is a pets Let's Play. However, I also do want to start focusing on our household a little bit more so kind of leave the the uh, animals to do what they want and then me focus on the sims and taking them out having social lives and things like that because they really don't have much of a social life right now outside of work um, so that's what we're gonna do in this part it's a Saturday we're gonna leave the animals at home no see the only phone calls we get are from people offering us opportunities that's how you know you don't have a social life so uh, Reed's gonna eat something and I think I think there is a um there's a bar here um I don't know whether you have to be a celebrity to get into it but we shall see um but yeah we're gonna have them kind of go out and do what they want to do um just fill all the bowls first she keeps playing with that uh, that brick so we're gonna do this um we're gonna clean up the animals quickly I know I said I was focusing on social life Okay, I'm going to pay those bills. Our bills are like barely anything, which is great. Why can you not fill his f food bowl? Why is that not a thing that you can do right now? You can usually do it, so why aren't you? Um, so Reed's eaten, which is good. That's what I wanted him to do. And then he can come use this and shower a little bit. I love how he still has the option to... Uh, Woohoo, even though, even though these two aren't romantic in the slightest. However, speaking of romance, I have added in a sim that I am thinking Reed could get along with. However, we are also going to um, test our social with some like in-town sims because I do want to get to know them. So that's what we're going to be doing in this part. Um, but first off, we are just kind of clearing up the house a little bit, doing our jobs that we need to do. Um, can you tend the garden? What's wrong with you? You're like super hungry, so we actually need to feed you because I always forget that foals actually need to be fed by humans and they can't just feed themselves and take care of themselves like bigger horses can, annoyingly so. I wish they could, man. That would make my life so much easier. Um, she is just tending to her garden. Like I said, we're just gonna do some chores around the house, feed our horse because we need to, and uh, then I'm gonna take them out. I don't actually know where I'm gonna take them. I know that there's a bar, but I kind of want to go there a little bit later on, so I don't know where we'll be going for the rest of the day, but we can have a look around town and see what's going on. Um, okay, he's done that, so we are gonna go bottle feed Grace. Because she is one hungry little foal. Come on. Go and bottle feed her. Go and bottle feed her. There we go. I love how she's just singing to herself. She's such a little cutie. I have started downloading some custom content. Just like hairs. I have one custom content skin. Which I always use in The Sims 3. And always have used in The Sims 3. Um, so I've started downloading a couple of hairs. I'm not going to go like crazy on custom content. Just like a few extra hairs. So I will be changing up Penny's look a little bit. Because she's kind of... I mean she's cute. But she's kind of like base game average right now bless her um she needs to work on her fun which we will That's definitely have these two go out and do once he has fed her there we go hopefully this won't take too long okay so her hunger is already like halfway right now so we're almost there um oh good you fed her cage as well so we fed everyone everyone's feeling good don't bathe him he doesn't need a bathe no, actually, he's a bit grimy. He's a little bit grungy, but that's fine. Like I said, the animals are going to pretty much take care of themselves. Don't bathe him. 
You only really need to bathe the dogs in The Sims 3 when they have fleas, and he does not right now, so don't carry Cool Smith, leave him in his cage. He's staying there for the day, and we are off, I think. Like I said, I don't really know where I'm planning on going. We could go to the beach, um, we could go to the festival grounds, um, what else is there? Stadium, we don't want to go there. Uh... Hospital, that's not a day out, is it? What's this? Hangman's Tree National Historic Landmark. What's here? Absolutely nothing apart from a hangman tree and a grave, which is weird. Kind of don't want to spend the day there. Maybe we'll go down by the seafront and kind of chill there. We could go to the library, I suppose. <gasps> oh, the art theatre. So this is the watering hole. Um, this is the gym, um, this is the historical society, um, next show at 12pm, oh okay cool, so we might actually, um, we could tour the theatre, or we might actually go see a show, which I think is what we're gonna do, um, so let's go here with a read. Just those two, like I said, they're going on a little friend date. Oi. Go here with Penny. These Sims, they're never doing what I tell them to. They're absolutely bloody awful. <laughs> they literally never do what I want them to do. I'm just gonna head on over here so that we can actually get to the show on time. Hopefully, yes, they are on their way, which is good. They are driving here as well, which is also a good thing. So this is the gym, which I kind of want uh, Reed to go to. I feel like Reed would definitely want to be working out and stuff. Um, so yeah, we are gonna... Okay, the next showing's in like 20 minutes, but let's focus on these guys a little bit. Let's, you know what? We, we need to get their friendship up. We're gonna talk about cats. Look, they're just like acquaintances right now, which is, is not good. They live together. We need to be like good friends with her. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna ask her about a day and we're just gonna get to know her a little bit. Like I said, the show is starting soon, so we are gonna go in at 12 p.m. Um... <gasps> Jaslyn Parrot and Kanoa Parrot have split up. Oh my goodness. Attend movie with group. We are gonna go watch um, the hippo wrestler. This is pets after all. I feel like these two are big animal lovers. So uh, we're gonna go see the hippo wrestler because that sounds like a film they would both enjoy. So let's go watch it. Imagine wrestling a hippo. That would be like one of the hardest things to do. I've just come back from Prague and we went to the zoo and the hippos were freaking mahoosive. And I mean like massive. Even the baby that was there. Who's this? Honey Darnell. I swear she was a celebrity before I removed the celebrity system. She looks like she belongs in Real Housewives of Orange County. Like, you have had some straight up Botox. Why are you just stood there? Why are you just stood there like a mannequin? I think she's frozen. Oh, there we go. Now she's in. Oh, she was... Maybe she wasn't waiting for these two. Why has your child got, like, no hair whatsoever? Like, they'd have at least a little bit of hair. Oh, here's a parrot. <gasps> He's a teenager as well. I thought they physically meant, like, actual parrots have split up. I was like, no, not the parrots. But they actually meant a family, which is kind of gutting. I was hoping that it was, like, a family of parrots. That would have been pretty hilarious. It's like when the gay penguins split up. Have the gay penguins split up or is that, I'm, I'm just making that up. Is that just a rumor I heard? I don't know. I feel like it happened at the same time as those like penguins fought with one another because the wife was cheating on him, but I don't know. I hope the gay parrots haven't split up. This sounds like such a sec, okay. I was gonna say this sounds like a sexual film. What the frick is this? What? is that who would have Ugh. whoever did this paint job needs to be freaking executed what the hell who actually goes in and asks for that 
Imagine going to like a shop, like a paint shop, and being like, <laughs> "You know what I want? I want those. I want that love heart. I want to be decked out in love hearts." That is awful. I mean, it looks pretty funky, but it also kind of looks like a brain. And it's really gross. Also, this one is disgusting. Just like a rusting car. I'm so glad we have a nice car. <laughs> okay, there we go. The uh, the cinema has finished. Um, don't go dumpster diving, you dirty boy. Um, like I said, we need to get friendly. So let's do it. I love how Reed's here. She has the option to speak to Reed, who is a real human being, who she can have like human contact with yet she chooses to speak to a brick that is just penny all over <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stay here with my brick and interact with that instead so funny let's share a secret with her no don't dance together uh, we'll also just have a chat so our relationship is slowly going up sophia martingale what are you wearing Last week, I dreamt that I was a baby again. You have some weird dreams. <laughs> Why was he dreaming that he was a baby? That's so weird. Okay, so this is the watering hole. So uh, let's go visit the lot with the group. I mean, it's like 3 p.m. Hopefully people should uh, head on over as well. Like I said, hopefully other people will join us. This place is hotter than Hank Goddard that one time he caught on fire. Nice. Oh, we didn't even have to like ask to get in. We were just allowed in. Oh, hello there. Angel Jenna, mixologist. Oh my God, guys, it's Kylie Jenna. She genuinely looks like Lady Gaga on the front cover of Joanne. Joanne! <laughs> oh my goodness, you are showing a lot of cleavage right now, Angel. I love how they all have like such funky names. Angel Jenner is my name. Okay, she's ordering a regular drink. They both have regular drinks. That's a bit weird. You've never been to a bar before. How do you have regular drinks? Evan Noble. Oh, go on, Evan. You've got no skills. Check out that beard, man. Woo! He's so hot, he's breathing fire! Fire, fire! Okay, there we go. We got our drink. What is it? It's just a regular drink. Oh, it's a flaming regular drink. This is no ordinary regular drink. This is a flaming regular drink. Hello, who are you? Oh no, this is Jaslyn. Oh, this is the chick who broke up. We know all the goss. We know People all your that. gossip, my friend. Uh, but we're gonna chat to you. We're gonna ask about Bar your career. Mm. Ask about your alma mater. All of that good stuff. Share a secret with you, even though we only just met you. Who is this chick? Imogen Kelly. Oh my god, she's getting another drink. We had learned that Jaslyn works in the grocery store. I feel like Reed would go want to try dancing with her Ooh, not dancing give her a friendly introduction oh she went to a prep school oh she's gonna play some of this by herself the hot spot the watering hole saloon is gonna be rocking tonight because i'm here when reed brings the party although there's like two people here <laughs> there are currently two people here you look terrifying why are the bouncers in this game so Freaking scary. Alani Shepard. You look absolutely horrifying. I just gotta tell you. Uh, what does she want to do? Learn the mixology skill. Go to five hotspots. Learn the mixology skill. I appreciate sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. Ooh, read! Imogen's making a move on you. Oh boy! Uh, let's get to know her. Cheap drinks! Happy hour has begun! Sweet! Uh, let's uh, order a drink. Um, we're gonna go for the group and we're gonna order... Obviously, we're gonna order a big mistake. That's what I like to hear. We all make big mistakes on nights out, so let's... Let's just cut to the chase and get one in early. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love how legit no one's coming. This is like the hotspot for the town. Oh, here we go. We got another person. 
Who are you? <gasps> oh, shit's about to go down. Kanoa just arrived. He's This is the couple that literally just broke up, apparently. And he's going to go talk to her. Please don't, like, break down in tears, Kanoa. You also look like John Lennon with those glasses. If you two start flirting, you two definitely haven't broken up. Oh, what's going on here? Let's see whips. Is that because it's a hot spot? We've got all this music going on. Music. People chatting when it's literally like five people. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this game is funny, man. Rainbow drinks. Yes. We have gay as fuck drinks. I love it. Let's go grab one. Oh, chill. She's coming to get one off you. Calm down. Read. Okay, you can drink yours now. There we go. Drink that invisible drink. <laughs> Should we dance together? Let's have a dance. Do they keep their drinks in their hands? Is this like not like Sims 4 where their drinks disappear into their pockets? Oh no, they do disappear into their pockets. Oh, look at them! My little babies are having a dance. And we probably need to order some food. Is everyone okay at home? Are you all still in the vicinity of... I mean, you've gone for a slight wander, but... You're okay. Um, yeah, everyone's still in our house, which is a good thing. I'm glad about that. <laughs> Usually my animals would be like everywhere right now if I were watching them. However, they're currently doing okay. Uh, let's order food. Let's go for a group serving and we're gonna go for, let's go for some pizza. Happy hour is over. Oh, okay. Well, that was the quickest happy hour I've ever had. This guy is pumped. Kanoa is feeling it. He's like, woohoo! I love my life. <laughs> dance on counter. Oh, can we dance on this counter? Let's go dance on the counter. Let's get crazy up in here. <laughs> I love it. Let's go dance. Oh, you just pulled, pulled out like the biggest. You definitely don't look. <laughs> Penny, you so don't look like you are dance, like dressed for dancing on the counter, yet you are, and I freaking love it. Oh, check out that hip grind. You get it, girl. Get it, girl. Oh, Penny, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, man, go grab a slice. Reed, you can grab a slice too. Oh, that just made my day. The fact that she just started dancing on a counter in like a cat jumper. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid, but I love it. Man, that is funny. I think we should go talk, talk to this woman. Uh, let's ask about her career and chat. Um, get to know her a little bit. She definitely tried to flirt with us before, so don't walk away from me. Okay. Are you going to steal a bit of our pizza? No, she's not. I thought she was going to. Why can we... Uh, excuse me, can you put my pizza back down? I paid for that pizza! You can't just steal it! Dude! That was so harsh. Oh my god, they're both going in on those slices of pizza. That actually filled you up. Really? One slice? Oh, she needs to go to bed. Going wild. Sometimes you just gotta get down with your bad self. Party on. I think I'm gonna send her home. I'm actually gonna send her to pee first. Um, and then she's gonna go home because she's knackered, bless her. Reed's gonna stay out a little bit though. He's gonna socialize a bit more. I don't know why it's telling me to greet her again. We already greeted our her, but oh well. Let's re-greet her. Um... No one's really down here. Me up, sir. So we're just gonna chat to uh chat to Imogen. I wanna get to know people. I wanna become friends with people. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh no, no, she's not feeling it. She's not feeling it. Oh, she has no sense of humor. Nice. We're gonna apologize to her. How can you not have any sense of humor? Like what the hell? That just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm fairly sure everyone has to have at least a little bit of sense of humor. Reed is not gonna know what to do with this. He's gonna be like, ugh, 
How do I talk to someone who has like no personality? <laughs> Bless him. Little Reed. He's such a cutie. I love him so much. He's like so hot. I still love him. Oh, just look at his little face. He's like one of my fave sims. My little, my little baby. Um, I'm surprised she's talking to us. She seems kind of, like, even from what she's wearing, she seems like she'd be, like, a high-maintenance sim. So I'm surprised she's even, like, second-glancing at Reed and actually having a conversation with him. Mind you, we don't know her. We shouldn't judge completely on looks. We should, we should definitely try to get to know her a little bit more. Who knows? These two could be soulmates, for all we know. And I'm just here judging her of what she wears, which isn't a good thing to do. So, we should probably, uh, uh, I heard Kanoa acted quite rudely to Jaslyn. He's, like, obsessed with Jaslyn and Kanoa. He's, like, invested in their relationship. He ships them quite a, quite a fair bit, I feel like. Um... And he's about animals. I don't know if she likes animals or not. I can imagine she does, considering she lives in, like, a country town. But I really don't know if she will or not. Who's down here? Oh, I was like, Jaslyn is making quite the racket right now. Okay, she's uh, gone back home. She should probably get some sleep soon. She's, like, absolutely shattered. What's he begging for? Oh, that's cute. Okay, she's gonna go to sleep. Um, and everyone else is just chilling. Reed's just loving life. Oh, it's going back down. Why does this woman not like us? Who's this? Oh, the bouncer's coming for a drink. I reckon this bar's gonna close soon, but uh, let's go have a go on an arcade machine. This woman's kind of annoying me. She she definitely seems a little bit up herself. So uh, we're gonna go play some arcade games. Oh, it's spring! Yay! When did whoa? When did spring hit? It must have hit during this video. Actually, yeah, it probably hit at 12 a.m. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play some arcade games. Like I said, she really wasn't feeling us too much. Like she spoke to us, but our um, our relationship kept going up and down. So she seems a little bit up herself, if I'm completely honest. What day is it? It's currently Sunday. Okay, so we could like have a lazy day tomorrow as well, I suppose. Or we could go uh, go do a horse race. I think I'm gonna skip through to tomorrow morning and I will be back with you guys then. Okay guys, so I am back. It's now Sunday and really quickly, I actually just wanna head on over to the equestrian center. Although I, I feel like all the things are at 5 p.m. So maybe this was a stupid idea. Um, oh, next equestrian at 12. Um, he's like super hungry, but the horse is feeling okay, I think. Is the horse feeling okay? Yeah. So, um, I think what we're gonna do is, uh, why have you just, like, left that there? Seriously. Continue cooking. Where's our horse? Um, we're gonna go mount him and, uh, then head on over to the equestrian center. He's gonna be in a bad mood, but hopefully it won't affect his riding. Uh, the horse will be fine. So I'm just hoping it like won't affect him too much. I don't think it will though. I, I doubt it. When does Grace age up? She ages up in one day. Uh, he ages up in two days. He has like 12 days and he has like 18 days. So that's all right. Um, I mean, Grace will be aging up into an actual horse, so we won't have to feed her constantly, which is quite nice. Um, mm, apples. Ah, the sweet crunch of an apple from eating an apple. Um, so we're going to head on over to the equestrian center. Uh, do, 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 do. Hopefully we can get here on time. Let's ride here. We are going to go for a gallop, of course, the fastest one. And I'm just going to keep an eye on everyone at home as they are galloping. Okay, so she's made those pancakes, which is good. We're going to put those in there. Mm. Scout, you need to, uh, whoa, work on your destruction. Uh, chew this and your social as well. Um, congratulations, Reed has just improved his riding skill to level five. He may now ride a horse bareback. That's awesome that he can now ride it 
bareback. Um, I don't know whether that, he, he still looks so uncomfortable though. Like, how is he a level five yet still pulling this face? <laughs> like, I don't understand what's going on here. Um, but here we go. We have arrived. We are gonna, um, enter equestrian competition. What did he want to do? Um, I swear he had a thing. Win five beginner jumping competitions, win a beginner cross country competition, win an advanced jumping competition. So we're gonna try for an advanced jumping. Let's go for an advanced. I don't know whether we'll win or not. Like I said, Reeds might be in a bad mood because he's hungry, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Also, she has allergies today, so she's in a really bad mood, but I currently also feel like I have allergies. My nose is itching so badly. Right, let's go do this. Um, okay, so we are currently like losing. Uh, let's go for broke. Go for broke. Come on, boys. Oh, we've not actually begun yet. So that makes sense. There we go. Now we have begun. <laughs> so we're going to try going for broke. Come on. 11th? That's not what I want. Uh. Take risks. Jump up. Just jump up the board. Come on, we're like a quarter through. Oh no. Tenth place is not what I wanted. I was expecting us to go like right up. We're ninth. Go for broke. Nope. Not moving. Not moving. Take risks. Okay, seventh. Seventh is good. Seventh I can handle. Go further up though. I want to come at least third. Sixth. Come on. Oh, fourth. Take risks. Come on. You got this. We're in fourth. Come on, guys. Do not fail me now. Come on. Why are we not going any higher? I feel like our skill isn't high enough. Oh, we're in fourth. We're not going up any higher, are we? This is awful. Take risks. No. Nope. I feel like a... Oh, there we go. We're in third. We're in third. We're in third. Come on. One more place. Get second. Yes. Go on. Get to first. Get to first. Go on. Just one more place. Just jump up there. Go on. Ah, oh, second place. Still not bad. Congratulations! Jasper ridden by Reed Harkins has placed second in the Alto Championship. Here's your prize money. And he has been promoted. Reed has been conferred the new title of Main Quality Supervisor by the Appaloosa Plains Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. Taking... Okay, cool. And he's now level 8 and they're now BFFs again, which is awesome. So there we go. Uh, that was pretty good, actually. Um, I'm quite impressed, um, to say the least. Like, he, he got a solid promotion. He's now level four. Um, he has to earn... I mean, that, that's really easy to earn. So I'm going to end this part here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, like I said, we will be focusing on The Sims a little bit more. But thank you guys for watching this part. Give it a big thumbs up and leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see within the next few parts. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.